Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabans. We welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment. When we give you guys a fresh perspective on things, and now we sit today, we got a very interesting show. But before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to check out the Dreamers Pro podcast, which we have pinned below, if you want today's full show before it comes out on YouTube. So, I had actually finished um, coming up with the shows we're going to produce today. And I was working on the brackets. Now, we have that coming out later today, our playoff brackets. If you want to check that out, we have that coming out. That'll probably be our last show uh, that we published. So I open up my Instagram and I see a clip from, because I follow NBA on ESPN, ESPN, Bleacher Report, I follow all those, those accounts. And I see a video get sent to me on my timeline or whatever uh, from NBA and ESPN talking about, no, ESPN, NBA and, and ESPN, their account. Uh, with LeBron James, right? And it's LeBron James with his son shooting in his driveway at night. It's LeBron. I think the, the person that was holding the camera was Bryce. Uh, and then Bronny. And then LeBron himself. And they're just shooting shots. And they're talking talking trash back to another. Just having fun uh, with his kids, which is pretty, pretty cool, right? Um, so shout out to him and, and all the dads out there having fun with their kids. Shout out to y'all. So they're there, they're kind of shooting, and the son is like, nah, you trash, you're gonna miss this, you're gonna miss that, or whatever, 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 whatever the case may be. And then it got to the point where LeBron, you know, LeBron, man, LeBron, son, you I I see you. I saw what you did. I saw what you did. He you know his son is recording it. He goes, I'm the GOAT. You know, I'm the GOAT. What do you mean? I'm the GOAT. And he keeps emphasizing it in the camera. I'm the GOAT, I'm the GOAT, I'm the GOAT. And I was like, oh, I already know where this is going to go. ESPN already posted it, right? So that's what we want to talk about because I got some interesting things to say about that. But before we even get into that, this video is brought to you by our sponsor, Price Picks, which is the largest daily fantasy sports platform in North America. Price Picks is really simple. Instead of just selecting a team, you just select two or more players, pick more or less their projected stats, and then you place your entry. For example, this week, I'm selecting two entries. Stephen Curry for more than 25 points, and then I got Anthony Davis for more than two blocks, and Damian Lillard for more for more than four three-pointers made. Price Picks is also the only daily sports platform with an injury insurance policy. So for example, if you have a player who gets injured in the first half and doesn't return to the second half, that player gets automatically rebooted. What I also love about Price Picks is that it offers weekly promotions like Taco Tuesdays. Each Tuesday, Price Picks discounts select player projections up to 25% to provide even more value. So go to pricepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match of up to $100. That's go to pricepick.com slash CLNS, use code CLNS for a first deposit match to, of up to $100. And remember, whenever you support this sponsor, you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So what we want to do is we want to play LeBron and his sons interacting, and I want you guys to listen to where he calls himself the GOAT multiple times. Uh, and then we're going to come back and get into this show. Take a listen to them here. Are you trash? You mean trash? You trash. Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lucky shot. Wait, lucky shot. How's That's a lucky shot. shot. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Huh? I'll shoot it one hand. How's it trash? You suck, bro. Trash. You suck. I suck. Mwah. <laughs> you bro, all right, man. Watch this. Hey, this with my left hand too. I'm not. No. Get it out the net. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Green. Oh my god, bro. It's. I ain't shot going a year, literally. That's <laughs> not going in. I don't know. Why are, you Why are you acting like that? Like you know what? This is what I do. Bro. This is what I go. This is one left time, bro. I'm GOAT, bro. G-O-A-T. What are you talking about? Stop, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me, man. This is what I do, man. All right, give me the ball. <laughs> give me the ball for what? Oh, uh, when it go in the net. <laughs> Piss it again so it go point five. Man, I'm, I'm right on you. No, Just worry about making the shot. Yeah. Shot? Yeah. yeah, worry about making the shot. You talk point, yeah. point five what? Right, uh, just... <laughs> that was too much rim, champ. Yeah, my fault, my fault. yeah you count that. That's too much rim. All right. Count that one. Oh, oh my God. Huh? Hold on. Give me a ball. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. I'm just saying, bro. You think it's a hood dribble. Hood dribble. 
Man, yo, jump for his cheeks. Bro, you the <laughs> Why you blaming it? Why you, uh-uh. There you go. I mean, that was decent. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mid-range? Yeah, mid oh, so you're a mid-range assassin now. All right. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> your, your rhythm going now? Nah, but it's cool though. I just get it right back. You know, your rhythm going out? Yeah, you just you just shoot it. Alright, we well, just shoot it there. I mean right. just shoot it there. If that's what you're talking. You just shoot it. Yeah. <laughs> so you heard what they had to say. Here are my thoughts. I got a few. First of all, the aspect of LeBron calling himself the GOAT. If you're there among your friends and family, hell yeah, call yourself the GOAT. I don't see nothing wrong with that. You're with your family. Talk your talk. Say what's really in your heart. So I support LeBron on that time. Like I support him there. What is more interesting, however, is two things. The first thing is if you see, if you saw the clip, LeBron starts to look into the camera, look into the camera, and he's saying it. That's the first part. The second part is how did ESPN get a hold of that clip? How did that clip, how did ESPN get a hold of that clip? Now, I don't follow his kids or nothing like that. So I don't know. Maybe he posted it on his account and they picked it up. I don't know because I don't follow these people's kids. I don't follow anybody's kids. But um, so that's what I'm wondering about. Because if he knew it was on his IG, uh, I think LeBron probably knew that that clip would probably get picked up and go out there and get a lot of talk, get a lot of conversation and traction. To me, listen, um, LeBron saying that, I've heard other great players say that. I've heard Michael Jordan say, listen, I'm the greatest player of all time when he was talking about a camp that he had playing against. Oh, my God. This guy was a former Memphis Grizzly who was talking trash to him at his camp. I forgot his name. I can see his face. I just forgot his name. And Jordan told him, like, listen, I'm the best player in the world. Like, da, da, da. So he told him that. So I've heard Jordan say that. I remember when Kobe went to the Drew League and he was talking trash to, like, the crowd. And I think Kobe says something to the greatest ever. Like, I think he said me, Wilt, Mike, or something like that. I don't remember. But I remember Kobe Bryant saying that, right? But in that case, Kobe was saying it to somebody. He was trash talking in the crowd. And he ended up getting recorded, right? It wasn't like it was a totally different thing. But I say all of that to say that great players, especially players at that level, top five guys, most likely feel that they're the greatest player of all time. I'm sure if you caught Kareem Abdul-Jabbar sitting down somewhere talking to somebody, he'll probably tell you I'm the greatest player of all time, right? So I don't think that that's anything weird or strange, right? I don't have any issue with that or take any exception uh, to any of that. Now, in terms of LeBron actually saying he's a GOAT, well, listen, LeBron is a media, uh, you know, he's a media, uh, 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 what's the word, savant. Uh, he knows how to manipulate the media. He knows there's going to be conversation. Of course, he knows you're going to have people in the media running up, twerking it up, slapping each other with honey, you know, running up and down the hallways, busting it down, shaking it over, knocking people's drinks all over the place. They're going to be getting hype. You, I'm sure some of them are going to be producing live like, yo, my man said, yo, hold up, hold up. Pass me the honey. You heard what my man said? They're going to dap it up with a handful of honey. <laughs> Oh my God, man. They're going to be dapping each other up with honey in their hands talking about, you know, you heard what LeBron had to say and all of that. So listen, um, people are definitely going to disagree with him because now it's in a public forum. Now you have a right to disagree with him. If that's what he said to his son and it wasn't on camera, I'm cool with it. Right. If he got caught on camera saying it, I'm cool with it. I'm just also saying that if you say that a lot of people are going to be pushing back. Right. And I think it was. I think it was. I think it is within their right because most people don't feel that way. But hey, it's just more basketball conversation. LeBron having fun. We all having fun uh, with it. So the first question is, what do you think about LeBron James calling himself the goat multiple times? Do you think he was just saying that to his son, like, "Yo, son," like, like to his son, like, "Yo, I'm I'm the best," or do you think he was also trying to put it out there so you know it could be that like that or be the message, whatever you guys think. Uh, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. We catch you guys on the next show. Peace.